Wonderful. I'm delighted to be joined by international medium all the way from Scotland to join us at the Food for the Soul Festival, Carol McGee. Carol, welcome. Thank you very much, David. How are you? I'm great, thank you. And I'm delighted to have met you earlier on today for the very first time yep. here at the Food for the Soul, and for the Soul like Festival. Excuse I me. I feel like I've, I've met you, I've known you for a long time. I actually feel the same, Carol. And I, tonight, I must say, of course I knew about the show. I was silly enough not to get my ticket. Well, I'm getting started. Your show tonight. Yes. 7.30? Between 7.30 and 8 here at the Food Festival? 7.30. The doors open at 7.30 and the show starts around about 8 o'clock. Excellent. And, yep. and we do know that there is a hell of a lot of tickets sold for that event. Yep. There's still a few left, though, so you can pay at the door. They can pay at the door. Yep. And online, they can be got at www.foodforthesoul.org.uk. Fantastic. And I just want to share with uh, everybody, Carol, of course, we had a little bit of a chat, and I did hear on the grapevine, not only from yourself, but a few others. What's going on with a psychic college here in Scotland and Carol McGee? Well, I'm opening a psychic college in Scotland, and it's going to be Scotland's first psychic college. So I'm absolutely delighted about that, and I'm excited about that. So that's my baby at that's the moment. Wonderful. But of course, I'm promoting it likes of shows here, so I'm over here in Ireland. This mm -hmm. is my first time in Belfast doing a show um, mm -hmm. with Food for Thought Festival. So I'm looking forward to that. And you know, it, it all comes together. We meet some amazing people True. and hopefully people from Belfast and Ireland will come over to my college because it is residential so you can stay there. Oh, wow. You know, so they can come over for a week's retreat, whether it be to learn how to be a medium, whether it be learn how to be a healer, you know, it all comes under that big of spiritual course. umbrella. The spiritual umbrella. But of course, I, I know I'm a medium, but every medium or psychic that meets you must see aeroplanes because you're flying over and back absolutely every. You were in the south only yes, a week ago. I was in Cork just over a week ago, flew back to Glasgow for another show and then flew over to Belfast. Oh have goodness. a great life. There's no oh, better yeah. job in the world. Of course. Doing okay. the work of spirit, of course. Doing the work of spirit, connecting loved ones um, with their, their friends and family who have passed over to heaven and passing on messages just to prove that life is indeed eternal and there's no greater joy. It, it, it is just a blessing. But I did hear as well you had a, a wonderful time at the International Airport in, in County Cork yes. in the Republic of Ireland. An amazing night with spirit. So I'm sure tonight, um, at tonight's show, it's just going to be the same, you know. Mm. So I've no idea who comes forward, who I'm going to connect with. I've no idea at all. And that's just, that's just amazing, you know. know. It's the spontaneity of it mm -hmm. and the connection and the love that comes forward from your family and friends who are no longer with us in the physical, but are not dead. Of course not. Of not course. dead. The soul is continuous. The connection, the knowledge that you have, Carl, how long is that connection with spirit like that? How long have I had the connection? Indeed. Well, probably since about the age of eight. I had a near-death experience just before my eighth birthday. I had meningitis and had severe septicemia. So usually, really, realistically, I shouldn't have my arms and, and my ah. legs, you know. A, a lot of people lose them when they have meningitis. Yes. And um, I believe I went to the spirit world and ever, when I came back, I could see spirit. And you know, a lot of uh, well-known mediums have had a near-death experience like yes, that. Indeed. And I feel it's some sort of attunement, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I was talking to a friend of mine, um, Gordon Smith, who had a similar um, experience around about the age of seven or eight as well. Mm -hmm. And that seems to be an ongoing thing yes. of something that's quite... Uh, that happens to quite a few mediums, you know, mm -hmm. so at the time you're a, you're a youngster and you don't really know what's happening, but looking back and now you come to this point in my life where I think, well, yeah, that could have been an attunement or maybe I was supposed to experience that. So I have no fear of dying. Yes. I have no fear of dying. I don't believe that death happens. You know, I believe that we just live on. Indeed. An eternal existence of evolvement. Well, that's it. So I have no fear of passing to the spirit world. I'm looking forward to it. I know I'm going to a better place. I have no doubt, but you know what I'm looking Not forward to? Not anytime soon. No, but no. But I'm looking forward to your show tonight you? here at the Food uh, for the Soul no Festival. Pressure, no pressure, then. No, no pressure. Not. You know, a uh, hell of a lot of tickets sold. There are some left. Yeah. And as I said, just very quickly, www.foodforthesoul.org.uk, where you can get tickets for yeah. tonight's event. Uh, and of course, Carol, you are featured here at the festival yeah. all weekend. I'll be here all weekend. You can come get a private reading with myself. Come and speak to me. Come for a chat. I'm open for a chat. Unfortunately, Carol, if someone can't meet you here, uh -huh. how can they get in contact with you? Well, me? you can get me through Carol. McGeePsychic.com or Carol McGee Psychic on Facebook. Google me. Indeed. There. Carol, you have uh, a waiting room of readings. I'll have to let you back. Thank you so David. much for popping Thank in. Thank you.